Welcome back to the basement. My hangar, my assembly shop, my repair shop, and behind the camera, my wife's hobby area as well. This is the AR637TA, and I've had some questions uh, from other videos about how to completely unlock this. So I'm making this video as kind of a recap on how you do this. I'm going to completely unlock this AR637TA. Now, you may be wondering why it only has one antenna. Now, that's because I took the other one off to replace one on a model over behind, <clears throat> behind the camera in the hangar area. That I accidentally managed to chop off with my exacto knife. So I've got to get this one fixed at some point in time, but I don't need it right away. This is a marvelous receiver. <clears throat> Unlike the T, it doesn't have an altimeter. Otherwise, the firmware in it is identical to the AR637T. You do not need to own an AR637T in order to reset this TA. All you're going to do is write the AR637T firmware onto this receiver using this cable from Spectrum and a Windows PC and the Spectrum Programmer software. It's simple, it's quick, it's two steps. One, we're going to reload the firmware onto this receiver. The second step is we're going to hook it up to my test board right here. Power it up from the SC that's on the test board. Go into forward programming and do a factory reset on the AR637TA. That will completely unlock it. It will be in the same state as an AR637T that you will buy retail as it comes from the factory when we get done. All the same features, all the same settings, and all the same issues if you don't program it correctly. When you do this, you're going to have to go through a complete setup, including receiver orientation, AS3X gains, setting up your safe switch and a safe flight mode, uh, it takes a little while if you haven't done it before. And if you don't do this right, you can wind up with some real problems as in a wrecked model in a hurry on the very next flight. Trust me, I know. Don't ask me how I know, but trust me, I know. So let's get started. I'll get the computer, set it down right here. We'll plug all of this in. And then when we're done, we'll take this receiver that's been partially unlocked, hook it up to my transmitter via this test board down here, and complete the unlocking procedure by doing a factory reset that will completely unlock it. So let's get started. What do you say? Okay, now I'm back behind the camera, and this is the uh, screen on my wonderful little Dell. The background you're seeing is a church in a uh, fjord up in Norway where we were several years ago and it's become one of my favorite pictures. My wife and I both use this background for our Windows machines. So you're going to need a few things. The first thing is this special cord that's connected to my USB port on the left hand side second thing you're going to need is this Spectrum Programmer right here, available free from the Spectrum site. I'm going to open that and it's going to actually say Spectrum Programmer Beta up at the top, but it's been a beta forever. Okay, so all we have to do now is plug in the cord to the programming port on the receiver, which is plugged in 
right there. Now, the receiver is not powered up yet. There are two ways to power up the receiver. The first is to use an ESC and a battery, but you can also power it up from the USB cord. Don't do both. So here we're going to power it up. To ensure your computer is not damaged, be sure there's no battery plugged into the receiver when the computer cable is powered. I'm going to use device settings. And there it is. So, this is my Model 15 receiver V.2. It's already been on here, but we're going to do a software update. File update. I'm not going to do install another version. Actually, we are. Install another version. And that is the version that's on there, but we're going to do an update. And now we're going to see updating device. You do not need to own an AR637T to do this. I had a viewer who was saying he couldn't do this because he doesn't have a 637T. And what this does is it overwrites here we go. It overwrites the firmware on the AR637TA. And the only difference between the TA and the T is an altimeter. The firmware is exactly the same. So, that took care of that. Now, to finish this, we're going to have to hook up this receiver to a transmitter. And I'm going to do that on my test board. So give me a second here. We're done here. So we dismiss that. We've just overwritten the receiver. Uh, get it in the light. There it is. You notice it's missing an antenna. That's because I took an antenna off of this one and put it on a, an AR637T I have that had an antenna that got damaged in the process of putting it in the model. I was playing around with my X-Acto knife and managed to cut the antenna in half instead of something else I was aiming at. Anyway, we'll unplug this receiver here and plug it into my test board and finish up unlocking it by doing a factory reset. Okay, the receiver sitting over there on the right side flashing away. I plugged it in, touched the, the bind button down here to click that and get it into bind mode with the light flashing. I then selected, model select, the test bed. Now we're going to go down here and hopefully do a bind. Okay, there it is. Bind. Bind. And it has bound. And we can see on the right that the receiver's light is now steady. And we are ready to finish up the unlocking. So what we're going to do is go into forward programming. And we can see we have gyro settings and other settings. And we're going to go down here and do a factory reset. This will finish unlocking anything that is still locked in this TA. This is going to unlock it. Apply. And complete. And back. Now if we go to other settings, We've got, we can set up fail safe, initiate bind mode, if we want to rebind it. If I hit initiate bind mode and apply, go over there and yes, the receiver is rebooted. And now we have to go down and do a rebind. Very handy thing to have. Bind. And it has 
bound again. Okay, now we're going to go back into forward programming. By the way, you can't do that on until you unlock that TA completely. So now, other settings. Set frame rate, we can do it on the factory reset, restore from backup, whatever. Now if we hit the back button, let's go look at gyro settings. First time setup. This is going to come up because you have now erased all of the settings. Okay, so we make sure that the configure the model, including wing type, servo reversing if any, travel, that it's all trimmed up and continue. Okay, we're going to go through this. Set the model level, it's sitting level. Continue. I'm going to now set the model. Oh, come on, get a continue. There we go. Continue. I'm going to set the model on its quote nose, holding this vertically and continue. And that is orientation one. That is, in fact, correct. And we're going to go to continue. Gain channel select. I'm not going to select one. Apply, but you can set a gain channel and program it to a trim switch or the R knob. Receiver has rebooted. Now we go to gyro settings and we can do system setup, first time safe setup, AS3X settings, flight mode setup. Any of these things are now available to us through forward programming. This receiver is completely unlocked and has to be completely programmed, including AS3X if you want to change these settings. These are the factory settings, 40, 50, and 60. You can now access these to change them. You can assign them to a flight mode. You can change AS3X priorities. You can change gain sensitivity. You can change set flight modes. You can set fail safe. Relearn servo settings. Reset orientation. Again, gain channel select. Utilities. You can do some things here with flight modes. And we can do first time safe setup. But I don't have a flight mode channel set up. So if you want to see how to set up a flight mode, you know, flight modes for safe AS3X only and turn off the gyros, there's another uh, video of mine out there. In fact, there are several on how to do that. It's pretty simple. You have to go through, assign a channel, assign a switch, and then go through and tell the transmitter to tell the receiver what that switch is going to change in terms of the gyro settings. It's fairly simple to do once you get this far. But that is how you completely unlock the AR637TA any of them, no matter what bind and fly model it comes in. If you want to put it in another airplane and do away with all of these settings and reset them, or if you want to just play around with the settings that are in there that you can't access in the model that the receiver came in, this is how you can unlock everything. But warning, just be careful, because if you mess this up, sort of say screw this up, but mess it up, whatever. You make a mistake here, you can wreck a model in a hurry. So, warning, be sure you know what you're doing before you go down this path. Thank you for watching. Have a great summer. Goodbye.